Hello, everyone. I am Ryan Clifton Bowling. Thank you for joining me. Listen, this is going to be one of the few last videos that I'm going to do on this Chris Rock, uh, Will Smith debacle, <laughs> you know, but I have to cover this portion of it because this is interesting what I just found out. So evidently, according to the Breitbart News, a Breitbart News article, evidently Chris Rock had a concert shortly after, which uh, was yesterday. He had a concert, and in the concert, he received a standing ovation, as the article says in the introduction. I'll read that a little bit. He had a standing ovation, and someone inside the uh, inside the audience hollered, "F Will Smith." So there's an audio clip, a short audio clip of this person in the audience actually saying these words, but it's kind of hard to decipher whether or not he's actually saying it or not. So I'm gonna let you guys listen in on that, and then I'm going to give you my opinion. Uh, uh, of what I think is going to be the situation with Will Smith and what I think is going to be the situation with Chris Rock and how this may all pan out. So st please stand by. So the article says, Chris Rock publicly addressed actor Will Smith physically assaulted him at the Oscars on Sunday night during a stand-up show on Wednesday where the audience gave him a standing ovation while yelling, F Will Smith. In leaked audio from Chris Rock's stand-up show in Boston, the Saturday Night Live Alum said that he is still, quote, processing the moment that Will Smith stormed the stage during the Oscars and slapped him before rushing back to his seat where he yelled, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Smith was reacting to a joke Rock made about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair. So I'm going to let you guys listen in on this audio clip and then we're going to go right into our discussion. So you heard that, right? You guys can um, read the rest of the article. I'll leave, a, I'll leave a, a link to it inside the description box. But I wanted to say something that, that to me, actually, honestly, that's really pretty disturbing. And I had to cover this. I had to cover this because this to me is looks like it's going not going to lead to real uh, anything good. Hopefully it doesn't pan out that way. But I just want to say this. I hope the best for Chris Rock. And honestly, I hope the best for Will Smith. I have no ill will towards him. I don't hate him, anything like that. But here's the deal. Um, if you guys could have understood anything that was being said. Now, I believe that they were saying F Will Smith because they were applauding. And when it, when it, when the person said F, you know, whatever, the, the audience started applauding. So it seems to me that they were saying F Will Smith. They couldn't have been, he couldn't have been saying F Chris Rock and them applauding because Chris Rock didn't do anything wrong necessarily. But whatever the case may be, um, I was watching a video clip from yesterday um, from ABC. ABC has a YouTube channel. And I was watching a video clip of some guy being escorted outside the concert that Chris Rock had. Now, I don't know if this was the same guy that was saying F. Will Smith or whatever the case may be. I don't know, but whatever the case may be, he was being escorted out, so evidently he was being disruptive. But my point is this. This doesn't look good because let's assume that all these people who were here were saying F. Will Smith, F. Will Smith. What's going to end up happening? People See, people get emotional. What I believe, in my opinion, is going to end up happening is going to fester. It's going to grow 
and grow and grow. And that's going to be it's, it's going to cause more division. And it's all of a sudden there's going to be this anti Will Smith movement. OK, you gonna have people walking around that somebody going to probably make a song like they did with, with when 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 um, uh, Trump was in office. Yeah, people making songs saying F Donald Trump. Doom -ba -doom -ba -doom -ba F Donald. And then when Biden got in office, you had people making songs saying F Bi Joe Biden. And then songs became hits. I guarantee you, maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I won't even say guarantee, but I have this funny feeling somebody going to make a song saying F Will Smith. F Will Smith. It's going to be this big thing of F and Will Smith. And then I wonder how he's going to handle this. Is he going to apologize again? Is he going to start crying again? What, what, what's going to be the response? And if people don't check themselves and say, okay, this is something that Will Smith did. Uh, he shouldn't have done it before the before millions of people. He needs to be reprimanded for it. He needs to uh, uh, deal, with, deal with the consequences of the consequences and deal with it. And leave it at that. Not get into this, this irate rage of F. Will Smith did it, did it, did it, making songs and protesting him and all this kind because that's what it seems like it's going to lead up to lead up to because see it seems like see this is what i've been observing about our uh, uh, the american community as of recently especially since trump has been in office and have gotten out of office and biden is in it is so much division being propped and the mainstream media is part of it Part of, the, uh, part of this division is being caused by the mainstream media. It's being caused by, by, by these Marxist professors and Marxist news reporters and not Marxist uh, politicians who are purposely spewing and causing division in our community. And it's high time. People better start waking up because I believe this is what this is leading to, man. I hope I'm wrong in this, but this is what it's leading to. Yes, he was wrong for what he did. Yes, he was wrong for what he said. But this is this may inevitably lead to something far worse. And far as Chris Rock is concerned, as far as I just say, as far as comedians is concerned, you know, what if a comedian gets up and says something offensive to somebody in the office or audience? Does he or she have to fear someone getting up out of the audience and striking them physically? You know what? It's, it's interesting because some years ago. And this is dealing with preachers and pastors. Now you'll see what I mean. Some years ago, I was watching a, someone showed me a video of, there was a pastor. I don't know if he was a Catholic or whatever, but he was up and I guess he was preaching and I guess it bothered somebody in the, in the audience. Pastor was preaching. It convicted somebody or made them angry. They got up out of their seat, walked up to the pastor and struck him, punched him. Knocked it, almost knocked him out. They could barely pick the man up. He, the, the path, he was so he was so dazed he could barely move. And you get my point here. It's getting to the point where people are afraid to say something to someone that may be offensive, and that person retaliating with violence. That's what that's the signal that's been that, that was sent. Re saying one is sorry is you can say you're sorry, but the damage has been done, and in part. What makes it so bad, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, what makes it so bad is that people are so volatile right now. They're so messed up psychologically that they'll take that incident and try to run with it. People today in our society lack self-control. They have no form of self-control. They have no form of, 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 of discipline. Not all people, but let's be realistic, y'all. Come on, let's be realistic. <laughs> Come on now, especially people on the far left. Especially people on the far left. They're so violent and mean-spirited that something like this, man, they would use it as an excuse to strike people simply because somebody says something that they don't like. Next thing you know, we're going to have a, a, a revolution, another a revolution in the streets over something stupid. Because people can, don't have control over their passions. They don't have control over their emotions. They can't take anything. They snowflakes. You know, you drop a little something on them, drop some water on them, they, whee, they just shrivel. Like I said in my last video, they like the wicked witch of the rest, West. I'm melting, I'm melting. You know, there's no, there's no inner stability. There's no strength. You know, there's no discipline. There's no self-control. So that's what I wanted to say on that. I mean, it's a sad situation. I hope things get better, but I commend Chris Rock, man. I really commend him for 
you know, going out here and, and doing this comedy show and everything. He said he's still trying to process everything that's happened. I mean, that was a shock to him and a shock to millions of other people. But he seems to be taking it really well. And uh, at this point, he's not pressing any charges, from what I understand. He's not pressing any assault charges against Will Smith. But this is going. This is not going to pan out too good. It's not going to pan out too good, mainly for Will Smith, if this blows up, like I said, and it becomes this anti-Will Smith movement. Because that's what I see coming right now. Based on what I can hear from what was going on in the audience, I see an anti-Will Smith movement. All those people saying... It, it sounded like they were saying it simultaneously. Could you? It was kind of muffled, but it sounded like they were saying "F Will Smith, F Will Smith" simultaneously. Next thing you know, it's gonna be a song coming out. I hope that don't be the case, but it sounds like that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be this big anti-Will Smith uh, movement, and it's gonna be this big pro Chris Rock movement. Everybody gonna be patting Chris Rock on the back, man. You a stand-up kind of guy. You're an example of what a person should be when, it's, when it comes to self-control. So we'll see how this pans out. But I just want to get my words on that. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button. Share this video and subscribe. God bless you all. I'll see you again.